What's up guys, Chris here, back again with another video on the channel. In today's video I want to talk about how you guys can be making your coins on the first night of the web app. I'm also going to show you guys how you possibly can make some coins, possibly doubling your coins going into the second night. So if you guys are enjoying the FIFA 21 content I'm providing, drop a like on the video and subscribe if you're new around here as well. i will be very much appreciated. So... Let's talk about what you're going to be doing on the first night. You're obviously going to go into the web app. You're going to, and by the way, I can't go onto the web app right now because it's down for maintenance. Uh, as we go on from 20 to 21, they're doing maintenance on the web app. So you're going to get your starter pack. You're going to get your kits, your balls, everything like that. Then you're going to get some sort of welcome backpacks and you're going to get a login reward as well. That's something that you guys want to be doing every single day on the web app. And I would also, um, and where's my phone? I would also be looking on your companion app to see if you get two different sets of rewards. If you can go on the web app, get a login reward, go on the companion app on that same day and get another login reward. It's going to be some sort of pack. It's going to be some sort of coins as well. I remember last year, I think it was two years ago, I got 2,500 coins one day just for logging on to the web app. So make sure you guys are logging into the web app every single day. That's number one. Number two, you're gonna get your welcome backpacks, okay? Now, your welcome backpacks are gonna contain 12 players. Four of them are gonna be gold. One of them are gonna be rare. Now, the rare doesn't necessarily have to be gold. It could be any of the players in the pack. If you are so so fortunate to get a gold card that is rare, and let's just say it's meta, make sure you guys aren't selling those cards. Do not sell anything that's meta, whether it's an inform, whether it's a, uh, a gold card that's super meta. It's going to go up over the next few days, so I would not sell those cards. What you're going to want to sell, though, is any non-rare that is currently going from like three to 600 coins. you got to make sure to get rid of those guys because they're not really going to go up too much more. And you're going to want, you're going to get about 5,000 coins probably in total if you get the four welcome backpacks. If you think about it, 16 gold non-rare cards times three, you get about 4,800 coins. They're going to go for a little bit more than that, so... Let's just say you roughly get about 5,000 coins. Now you're going to want to start trading. And trading, it's going to be the SBCs. So there's a couple different SBCs people like to do in the beginning of the year. One of them is the League of Nation Basic. Uh, and this one is you get two 7.5k packs for, you know, some of these SBCs that don't even require ratings. This one requires an overall rating of 55. So these are some SBCs that people do with bronze and silvers uh, to get some 7.5k packs. That are, that are pretty much free and they are tradable as well uh, that you get them back. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to trade with the guys that are in the SBCs. The guys that get into solutions mostly. That you can go on to Fuppin and I obviously can't show you step by step right now because Fuppin as well is in the FIFA 21 mode. But if you go into SBC here, Active Challenges, and then you'll be able to select certain challenges. There'll be a tab up here that says Advanced. You'll go to that, and then you'll you'll kind of just trade with the players that are inside each solution because they're going to go for some sort of value. So what you guys could start doing is maybe, and, and I would not stay on a card for five minutes, okay? I would not stay on one card for five minutes. I would try, if I were you guys, to be on a card, put take about 25 cards that you're going to continuously go through and spend about a minute or two on each one and try to get some undercuts on the card, try to start bidding on some of those cards as well. That will be more efficient for you on making your coins. You're gonna be at five to 6,000 coins. You're gonna to wanna to get yourself up to 30,000 coins. So try like doing little filters, right? And with the web app this year, we're gonna have different qualities. So you can go bronze rare, you can go gold non-rare, you can go gold rare. You know, a filter that might work in the beginning part of the year is Premier League defenders that are rare, right? If they all go for, let's say, 1,000 coins a, a, a card, you could slide underneath that. People might list for 800. They might list for 750. That's two, 300 coins of card right there. If you play your cards right, uh, you can go midfielder. You can go attacker. You can go right wings. You could just do anything with positions. Um, don't be afraid to go to every different league, by the way. Don't be afraid to go to the Bundesliga defenders, you know, and trying to figure out, all right, what the cheapest, like Stambouli here. I technically could probably sell him Stambouli for like 900. Uh, and at the beginning, a guy like Umakano might be like 1.4k. That's a card that you would buy and you would probably sell it for 1.4. So these are some of the things you guys can be doing. Trading with cards that are not just like a little bit of filters, but you also want to be looking at cards that are in good nationalities and off leagues. 
For example, Clichy is a French left back in the Turkish League. Valbuena last year, if you look at uh, Valbuena, he is a French card, French left mid that is playing, I believe, in the Greek League for uh, Olympiacos. So, again, these are cards that you're going to want to be looking at. A guy like is Miley. That's another card that does very well. Um, you're going to want to snipe those cards. They're also going to rise that next day the most, which we'll get back to that at some point in this video. But that's what you're going to want to be doing. You're going to want to be trading with different types of filters you can find that first day. It could be even as simple as like German strikers like we had last year. And that's because of an SBC that they had, which was probably one of the League, uh, League of Nation basics. So you're going to go from 5k and you're going to get to about 25 to 30. Then you're going to want to do the advanced SBCs in a certain order, right? So you go advanced, uh, you're going to go to hybrid nations, and then you're going to go three, the elite eight. Then you're going to go to the around the world. You're going to sell everything in these packs besides meta cards, meta informs. You're going to sell everything in these packs that you think are not going to rise that much. All right. You're going to get your coins back and some, and hopefully you pack a meta card or two that you can keep in your club. As you're making coins on the top left, you're also getting coins into your uh, club that you're not technically are gonna, you're not going to sell yet. Now you don't have to wait till the first weekend league to sell an Anthony Martial if you if you uh, if you pack it, but you would wait a couple of days because it's going to continue to rise as more people get onto the game. So you're going to go Elite Eight around the world, then you're going to complete these two for about 7k each. These two will cost you about 10 to 12k each. So that's why I said make sure you get to about 25 to 30k first because you don't want to just go if you have 15,000 coins, spend 12k on this SBC, and then possibly not make your money back. Uh, again, you don't want to rely on these SBCs, but it's a good way to get some cards into the account. Possibly could get an inform or two that will make your money back. If it's a fodder inform, take the coins. That's like 10 to 12k where you guys can get your money back and then make some more money on these SPCs. That's your like your best bet on these packs. These packs you're gonna do for about 14k in total, and then you're gonna get a rare mega pack back for it. Uh, those SPCs should get you about 50,000 coins in general. Make sure you're selling everything in the pack besides meta cards. And if you guys ever want to know what meta is, I pointed this out in the last video. Don't sell the Marcials, don't sell the Dembele's, the Militao's, the Verner's, the Sabitzer, the Lorente, the Sun, uh, Rashford, Limer, Ben Yedder, Richarlison, uh, Bruno, Joe Gomez. These are the kind of cards you don't want to be selling. Valverde, Bale, Icon cards, do not sell them. These are the type of cards you don't want to be selling at the start of the year. And if you can, you know, go through uh, FIFA 20, I don't even think I can get to FIFA 20 and their team of the weeks but if it's a meta inform like a benzema that we got last year or a delaney or uh a mertens don't sell that let that car continue to rise and then make a decision in a few days time if you're going to sell the card or not so with that you'll get about fifty thousand coins after the advanced sbcs then you're going to want to trade a little bit again you'll get to about 75k and hopefully you've accumulated a couple cards in those packs that you just did that will sell in a few days time and go up four or five hundred percent pretty much or not four or five hundred percent but like you know what i mean like 20 30 40k pretty much so that's the goal like you want to be having about seventy five thousand coins first night plus whatever's in your club and then you're going to want to go broke that first night so you're going to want to go broke on cars that i just showed you on fuppin the militows the bales the uh the clustermans the richarlsons the verners Rashford, De Jong, Promise. These are the type of cards that you're going to want to be buying that first night because they're going to double that second night. Uh, that's your plan. The second day is going to be EA Access, which is on October 1st. The web app is going to be on the 30th. So you're going to get the web app probably uh, early in the daytime. You're going to spend all day pretty much trying to make coins. I will try to make about 150k that first day on the web app and then put all of those coins into cards for the next day. And hopefully double my coins get to about 300k and like i said in a couple of videos ago don't buy a card like let's say you do, you go and buy a card lorente and you want to sell them in the first weekend league i wouldn't necessarily wait two weeks for that because that's a lot of coins that you're missing out on by buying other cards and trading within the same day or buying a card the previous day and selling it the next day because you know it's going to continue to rise and also, like I pointed out in my last video, don't panic if there's a card that you have held on to from the Welcome Back Packs, from the Advanced SBCs. If they go down in price at some point, a couple thousand coins for whatever reason, do not panic. Sell them. These are cards that you guys are going to be holding. 
past the full edition release and then you guys can sell those cards whenever you feel like it now like i said um you know i'm not gonna force you guys to you know keep a card i'm not gonna force you guys to sell a card it's up to you guys in your account but just your best bet is to save the meta cards because they're going to rise uh you know that the next couple days pretty much uh, some of the other cards you want to be looking at, like we had a guy like Vangioni last year. He went from like 2.5k average listing on the first night. He went to like 6.6 .6 that second night. Guys like uh, Zabacosta even went up like four or 500 coins. Find cards that are like mainstays in the advanced SBCs. Good nationalities and off leagues. Like I mentioned, Clichy, Valbuena. Uh, let me see if I can look at Valbuena and see if he had risen that second night. Remember, the first night of the year, you're not going to have as much competition on cards. There's not going to be a ton of people on the game. But look, this is like a good representation right here of what you could think of. 1,700 coins on Thursday, September 19th. By the 20th, he's like 3,000 coins. So you're looking at, you know, probably 32 to 3,300. You're doubling your profit there. And that's what you're looking out for. Looking at cards that have good nationalities in positions that are weak for that nation. And then you're also looking for off leagues as well. Uh, the Turkish League, Ukrainian League, uh, all that kind of stuff is what you guys should be looking out for with advanced SBCs. There'll be more guys coming onto the game on that second night, which will make the advanced SBCs uh, solutions more in demand. It may rise a little bit. So that's why, again, the web app the first night is also pretty good uh, to get those cards, to get the ad uh, advanced SBCs done. So other than that, that's pretty much it. That's the plan. You're going to get about 100 to 150k if you grind. And then you're going to put all those coins into gold cards that are going to want swatches. As soon as possible, you're going to have to get on those as soon as possible this year. Sell before one swatch, I would say, because I think it's going to get overinvested and possibly. Uh, meta gold cards, meta informs, and gold cards that you believe are going to go up because of advanced SPCs. Those are the four different areas you're going to want to invest in. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. Thank you guys for watching my FIFA 21 content. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new around here. Talk to you guys in a video soon. Peace out.